The wife of Prophet T.B. Joshua, Evelyn Joshua, has now revealed how he died. And this is according to a report by Sahara Reporters. Speaking with some select journalists on Sunday, June 6, she said her husband, the founder of Synagogue Church of All Nations, ended his race prayerfully. She revealed that the televangelist spent about three hours in prayer before the last service on the mountain and appeared to be very healthy. She said he never showed any signs of illness or worry that his main concern was about the prayer line they offered to Indians against the COVID-19 pandemic. She said afterward, he came up to shower and she left him to have some time to, to prepare for service as worship had started. A few minutes later, he stepped out for ministration and while ministering, he spoke about a time to come and a time to leave. His statements were spiritual and suddenly, he left the stage and went to his inner chambers. She said she waited for him for a few minutes and thereafter decided to check on him, but she met him sitting on the chair like someone reflecting but unconscious. She quickly beckoned on his disciples who came and tried to revive him all to no avail. Of a truth, he went home to be with the Lord and left with the message, watch and pray. The founding pastor of Christ Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry in Worry narrated a similar story to his church members. Here's what he had to say. Yesterday after his ministration, he was having one-on-one -on -one with the people. After touching them, he gone back to the church and he prayed with them, all the workers, gathered them. And also, he now left for his room. Before they knew, before they knew, the good Lord that who have called us has visited him, Almighty God. That's how they found him dead. No story. On the on the twelfth of this month, that is the day of his birthday. Now, before he has been with the Lord, he made a comment. And that way, he now sent the message to every one of us that his days are numbered. I want you people to just take in just a brief watch of the message that he has passed through to the whole world that he wants to be with the Lord. Just open your ears and eyes, watch from the media. I want everybody to stand up for one minute silence for what has happened to the general of God that who have been with the Lord and who sleep today right now who is asleep. general no other person than senior prophet tb joshua hello and welcome back to hot nager please stay tuned and subscribe emmanuel emmanuel i greet you all in the name of the lord and I welcome you to his presence today. In the presence of God is fullness of joy. In his presence, there's abundance of his grace. In God's presence, there's all you ever desire or require for him here and now. May the joy of the Lord never depart from you. May the peace of God never depart from your life. Yes. Good morning to you all. Shall we put our hands together and clap for the Lord Jesus? Yes. Amen. 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 In our hearts, we are made to be like Jesus Christ. 
we are created to be like him and in order to live like him we must put on the new man who is renewed in mind in knowledge wisdom and power according to the image of him who created him to do this is by renewing our mind with the word of god and submitting our body to the authority of the world and i want to believe that is why we are all here today that is why we are here today may you be renewed in mind may you be renewed in knowledge in wisdom and power in jesus name thank you lord you may be seated from the inception of time the beginning of the world man had been clamoring for freedom freedom to be wiser to be greater and all-knowing but yet man is still man and the struggle the fight to be free continues so we stay in our lives in our immediate homes our communities nations and even continents many have been struggling to get out of their desperate situations to be free from their bad habits but they do not know how to go about it so they are chained today we see children struggling to be free from the supposedly overprotective hands of their parents wife struggling to be free from the domineering spirit of the husband so also husband struggling to be free from the possessive nature of the wife in institutions organizations and even nations freedom 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 is what everyone cries the quest for freedom brought us out from where god has placed us in his abode to where we are today living a life that does not have rules and standards a life that keeps us swallowing in sin unable to identify our roots but what does it mean to be free what does it really mean to be free there was this wonderful conversation between our lord and savior jesus christ and the presumed children of abraham in the book of john 8 verse 32 to 36 he said to them you will know the truth and the truth will set you free and they answered him and said but we are descendants of abraham and we have never been slaves to anyone how then do you say we shall be free then christ replied and said to them truly i tell you everyone who sin is a slave to sin everyone who sin is a slave to sin and a slave have no permanent place in the family but the son belongs to it forever so if the son set you free you are free indeed if the son of god set you free you are free forever say to your neighbor if the son set you free you are free if the son of god set you free you are free indeed say to the viewers if god's son set you free you are free forever